started the fire academy in February, which was about 17 weeks. Um, so we graduated June 15th, and I've been a probationary firefighter for six months now, about to finish up with that. Um, the process is, I mean, it's kind of similar uh, process that I went through, but I would say it's more formalized now, and the amount of time is more actually in the academy. You know, we, we get people from all different backgrounds, groups. We get some people that have some experience in the fire service. I would say a majority probably do not. So, you know, a lot of what takes place in the academy is just, you know, hitting, the, hitting your feet, you know, on the street and, you know, how do you function as a firefighter? Stretching hose, um, how do we function at medical calls, everything about kind of the front end of the fire department. The, the academy it gets all kinds of people, um, all kinds of backgrounds, experience, no experience. So it's kind of a place for everybody to meet and learn the job together and hopefully develop a good product when they're done. After you get done with recruit training, you get assigned to a, a rig, a unit, um, and then you have a six month uh, probationary period where you're getting trained by firefighters, captains um, on that rig on specific tasks. Um, I think it's a really cool time right now. We're kind of in a pivotal um, culture where we're getting a lot of young people, a lot of um, people who want to go out and train, who want to, you know, perfect this craft. Yeah, so this is originally Station 1's, uh, Station 1 station, but Station 8 is getting rebuilt right now, so they had to move that station here for the meantime. Um, so Station 1 has truck, engine, and a reserve medic unit. Station 8 has a truck, engine, and a medic unit, medic 8. So for the meantime, until next, sometime next year, they'll be at this station sharing. Yeah, so our schedule is called a 7-8, which means it's seven shifts with eight days off, and those seven shifts are 24 hours on, 24 hours off. So today is Wednesday, we start our, uh, our set, which will be 24 hours today. We're off 24 hours Thursday, and we come back Friday morning. So we do that for seven shifts. And then we go on our uh, Kelly days, which is an eight day stretch that you have off. There are a lot of things that training has taught us. Can't give us the real hands-on scenarios, but um, we always have something we can follow back on. So just depending on the call. If it's a medical call of some sort, I'm going through my medical training. I'm going through questions in my head, what to expect before I get there, not knowing anything. Sometimes dispatch gets calls from people and they might not get all of the dis correct description. And we get there and it was nothing that we thought it was gonna be. We train, we work out, we do everything on our end so that when that fire call comes and when that um, you know, dangerous situation happens, on our part, we've done everything we can to prepare. And it kind of goes back to the checklist. You know, you get your gear on, you get everything situated so that you're ready to work and ready to go. Since day one, it's just been very welcoming, coming in, you know, if you're proving yourself, you're working hard, everybody around you is there to help you. And it, since we're here all day, 24 hours, eating together, sleeping together, training together, working out together, going to calls together, we just build this bond. It's a second family, truly. Um, these guys are my brothers, um, the weird uncle that you don't want but end up loving, and you know, dads and all that. And so it's super fun and we're a close-knit group. And you know, we have fun around the fire station and um, watch movies, cook together, you know. And then when it's time to go to work, we go to work and it's, it's a good time. We work so closely together. We pretty much live together, you know, one third of our life here at the fire station. And then we, we go on traumatic calls that are stressful and that tends to bond us pretty close, you know, dangerous calls where we help each other out. And like I said, you know, we were part of a team and if, you know, your team's functioning well and, you know, you're doing, you're doing what you're supposed to do, you got each other's back, it, it builds a tight bond. So just that camaraderie, I think, of the fire service is kind of what has kept me here so long and what still kind of attracts me to the job. I mean, there's definitely a risk to, to the fire department, to your health. Um, we're, we're breathing in smoke. You know, we've got a lot of great equipment. It's improved a lot since I've came on, but there's still a risk involved every time we go on a call. So um, the payoff is being able to help people and, you know, seeing the look on people's faces when you, you know, you change the outcome of a, a you know, the, a person in their family's life or, you know, you just, and especially kids, kids look up to you and, you know, you're kind of a role model to the 
to the younger generation and that's fulfilling. So just being able to help people I think is the main draw to the fire department. This is my um, long term goal and I have a long way to go. I'm um, still pretty young and new to the job but I'm um, looking forward to the years ahead.